Hey, what's up everyone? I am doing a SMG commentary. I haven't I haven't done one of these yet, I don't think, so I thought I'd do that. Since today is Thanksgiving and all, and I'm super cheery and uh, thankful. Today, got to go hang out with family, eat lots of food, and enjoy their company. I'm very thankful for them. I love them to death. They make my life awesome. And, uh, yeah. I'm here with the new part of my family. It's a wife and a uh, little kitty family. Very cute. And the Wiimote just tried to kill her right now. She walked past it and the, the cable got caught around her throat. She, walked, she started freaking out because she thought it was trying to attack her. It was kind of cute. Yeah, I kind of felt bad for her. Yeah, uh, I got to hang out with the family today, and we played badminton today. I haven't played that in forever, and it was super fun. My mom played, sisters, wifey, everybody kind of participated. And, uh, it was a lot of fun. I haven't played in a long time. It kind of makes me want to play more. And it kind of also made me want to play uh, ping pong. I haven't played ping pong forever, and I'm not very good at it. I don't think I was actually good at it at all, but um, I remember it being pretty fun. So, I would like to try that. Uh, but, uh, the gameplay that you see right now is Super Mario Galaxy, the first one. It's, um, it's a pretty fun game. I really enjoyed it. I beat it a few weeks ago, and I decided that I would like to maybe complete the game by collecting all 127 stars. Maybe I won't commit to that exactly because I know how frustrating Mario games can be. And some of the the speed runs where you have to beat the timer is freaking ridiculous. I think I only beat like two or three of them, so maybe I won't try and complete the entire game. But if I happen to, that'd be really cool. Because I hear once you beat it the first time you get to go back and play as the Luigi. And that would be really super awesome. I decided to do this because I am waiting for Best Buy to open. It opens at midnight tonight because tomorrow is Black Friday. And I kind of wanted to go and buy some games. Uh, we drove by, past it on the way home tonight and there was already a line and I seen a bunch of tents out on the side. So I probably won't get there soon enough to get any of the really, really cool good stuff. But I'll definitely pick up a game. If not, I guess a game. Or maybe I should just save my money and just watch people freak out. That's kind of fun, just to kind of hang back and watch people just like be mean to each other. Because I don't know what it is about the holidays, it just kind of brings out the worst in people. Well, at least in retail. I haven't had to work retail in the last two years, almost two years. And, oh, I I remember my last boss before my this last one told me that I would really enjoy the holidays once I didn't have a retail job. And she was 100% right. Not working retail makes holidays so much better. Like, I've always loved Christmas a lot, but now I'm just like, God, yes, Christmas! And it makes me want to decorate, it makes me want to go shopping, it makes me want to still smile when I go into stores. Yeah, even though people you know, really don't, they're usually kind of mean. They usually treat the person behind the counter like a jerk because they're being impatient or there are lots of lines everywhere or whatever. But uh, back to the gameplay, I guess. This part of the game was really hard. I couldn't figure out how to use the stupid Wiimote to control a ball. As you can see, you're standing on top of it and you're supposed to maneuver across these moving platforms. And I thought for a second you were supposed to lay it down, but I figured out after like uh, eight deaths, I figured out that you're supposed to stick the Wemo or keep the Wiimote standing up in the upright position, and then um, tilt it in the direction that you want to go. And like I said, it took me like eight tries. I played this before recording just to kind of get a feel for it because I hadn't played it in a few weeks. Or a few months actually. And so I just pre just tried to do a pre-run through and I didn't even make it through the pre-run. I was like, oh whatever, I'll just I'll just play it and if 
I get it through, I'll get it through. And it took me quite a few tries. But really fun. I forgot how how they use the Wii mote in uh, in these games. It's really kinda it's unique and it's fun. And I hope that they do that in I'm kinda curious to what they will do with the Wii U controller, like how they will use that in the new Super Mario games. I haven't picked up a Wii U yet. I probably won't for the first maybe year. Definitely not the first year. Probably the end of the second year I might pick one up. Hopefully by that time a new Mario game will come out. I figure if I wait three years, if I can hold off three years, hopefully a new Mario game will be out and talks of a new Zelda will be in the works. And so that'll really make me want to have one. And I'm sure a bunch of the other the other usuals will be out. I'm really excited to hear anything about Animal Crossing. Even though that is coming out for the 3DS early next year. No, wait. It got pushed back. It got pushed back to June, I think. So, I'm going to have to wait on that. But, Luigi's Mansion is also coming out uh, next year. It will be coming out before Animal Crossing, I believe. Um, it was supposed to also come out this year, but for obvious reasons, the Wii U launch, it got pushed to next year. Hopefully it doesn't get pushed back any more than it already is. I believe it's supposed to come out the first quarter of next year. But it's Nintendo, so it'll most likely get pushed to the second quarter. Which I'm crossing my fingers for not, because the main reason why I bought my 3DS was to play... Luigi's Mansion. Animal Crossing being the second reason for buying it. I still haven't picked up Mario Kart 7. I was kind of considering picking that up, but it's a Mario Kart. Once you've played them once, you've played them all pretty much. I mean, I don't want to make it sound like it's not a good game because Mario Kart games are really fun and they usually, they usually add something unique to each game that makes it fun. And if you want to continue playing it. So this gameplay is coming to an end. If you guys enjoyed the video, you hit the like button. It's always appreciated. And if you guys wouldn't mind telling me if uh, Mario Kart 7 is worth picking up, because I've kind of beat all the 3DS games I have, I'd like to put that thing that thing back into use. I'll catch you guys later.